ready for the last step, which is to create a campaign in MailChimp. So we're back over in Zapier. Go ahead and hit the plus icon and we're going to choose our campaign. So we're going to connect our MailChimp and from the, the drop down, hit create com campaign. Go ahead and hit continue, set up and link your account and move on to set up action. Again, you might have to pause if you haven't connected your MailChimp yet. So go ahead and hit pause, set that up and come on back. Under setup action here, you can basically name the campaign and do all of the actions that you could do in MailChimp right here in Zapier. So go ahead and add a campaign name, pick your audience, the proper segment or tag. Again, you can um, create one in here if you'd like to, or my best advice would be to set that up in MailChimp first. Add your subject, preview text, who it's from, all of these details, and um, I like to use the merge tags in terms of who it's going to. From there, I know we set up that template, but we're not going to pull that in. We're actually going to pull in the code from that template. So in order to do that, you need to come back over to the window where we downloaded the HTML version. When you're in this, you're going to want to right click and click view page source. This is going to bring up a very messy looking screen if you're not familiar with code. Don't worry, we're not coding, we're just copying it. So you're gonna to wanna to hit Command A or Control A and Command C and head back over to Zapier. Go ahead and paste that in here. Now, once you've pasted in all of this text, which is really code, you're gonna to need to scroll about halfway down to find our placeholder text. This is where we're going to make adjustments. So once you come to this section, you're going to look for your heading here, the weekly podcast updates, the latest news. So that's all the information that we had. From here, that placeholder text, you're going to delete out and replace with your newsletter form digest information. So you're going to put your cursor there, kind of scroll over outside of this box. Otherwise, it'll keep scrolling your code and you'll lose track of your spot. And come down to create Airtable record, scroll down a little bit, you might have to expand it, and pop in the newsletter from digest form there. Now for our link, we need to be sure that this code is in there correctly otherwise it'll come over a little bit messy so be sure to take a little bit of time if you have some extra code in here sometimes it does pull in a little bit of formatting you don't need that so go ahead and delete out everything make sure that this code matches exactly so it's written um, exactly with the a space href equals and then be sure to include the quotation marks around your twitter url now, of course, if you're not using the Twitter URL, you could omit this step altogether. Be sure you close your quotation marks, close out the href, and then the text. If you don't want it to say, see the full tweet, you can replace that text to say whatever you would like. But be sure that you have kind of all of these little code icons in here so that when it pulls over to your MailChimp, it shows up correctly. So those are the only two things we need to do. Go ahead and hit close and we're gonna move on to test the action. So you're gonna come over here, go ahead and hit test, I've already sent it, so you can go ahead and hit your test action and wait for this green bar to pop up. Once that comes up, you're ready to head over to MailChimp and make any other adjustments you might need. Let's head over there and finish everything up.